In this tutorial, I'm demonstrating a solid braiding pattern that's perfect for middle part wigs. It's very beginner friendly. It has just eight braids. And I wanted to emphasize the importance of protecting your hair while you are wearing your wig. So I'm using one of my favorite moisturizers by Fantasia. And I just wanna lock in the moisture at the ends. And I'm also using a really good scalp oil as recommended to me by my subscribers. So thank you very much. And here is a very important part. This middle part, which is about three inches in length, and then this second part, which spans the portion of the crown, and the third part, which extends all the way down to the nape. It creates this section at the front. Again, I'm just moisturizing the entire area, but I'm gonna use my soft bristle brush to just brush the hair over into the extreme side and with the ends, I'm gonna separate them into three sections because I am going to braid the ends of this section into the hair just behind it. Now I find that this braiding pattern allows my units to lay super flat. If you start braiding directly at the crown, the cornrow gets larger as you move further back. And because the crown is the largest portion of your head, if you reduce that bulkiness, by at least a quarter which i'm doing here you have like flatness to the nth degree so i really like this pattern i hope it's simplified enough you can do four braids if you want it but i just thought i would give you guys some you know inspiration and i also wanted to show you guys ways that you can accurately measure your head you want to take two to three measurements never just one you want to take an average of three different measurements around your head just to get perspective, there are illustrations on myfirstwig.com. Definitely refer to those so that you can find the perfect wig and it fits comfortably. And I get tons of questions about the products and tools that I use and they'll all be listed in the description box, but a tripod for your wig is so important. And this canvas block head is everything this is how you can style your unit and this is the barbara 100 malaysian hair i have all the details below and as you can see it's a beautiful ombre unit i love the color it's more of a rich red not so much a burgundy and the hairline it looks good the parting space could use some work but it's very beginner friendly if you're not one for manipulation however if you do want to try your hand at tweezing the parting space this is it because this is a great alternative to bleaching the knots. It's pretty much foolproof. The only thing you have to be concerned with is actually puncturing the lace itself. And if you pull the hair to the back away from the perimeter of the unit, you can trim your lace perfectly easily. It's no problem. Now I'm just using this Fit Me Press Powder and I'm going to go in and place this in the area of the parting space and kind of fan it out on the edges of that part as well as at the very front. Then I am going to use this Tinted Moisturizer by NARS and it's just more of a liquid consistency but it has better color payoff. And to set it, I'm going to go back in with that pressed powder and then spray it with this free spray to lock it in place. Now, right at that parting space at the crown, I'm going to place the edge of my wig cap. And I want to show you guys that I'm adjusting the straps of my unit. A good amount of tension allows the unit to lay even more flat. You don't want it to hurt, so that's why you try it on, see how it feels. Once it feels good, you're ready to go on to the next step, which is applying a gel. I'm using the Got To Be Ultra Glue and I'm using a soft bristle brush to mold this into my hairline. This step is completely optional. I do want to make a note that I am applying a little bit of the gel next to my parting space. And I'm gonna follow up with the free spray this is a really good combination because it lasts and lasts like up to two to four days depending on your lifestyle. 
And once it gets tacky, you can put your unit right on. Remember that placement from before? And I really like the hairline of this unit itself. It blends into my own hairline and it can even mask it so there's no gaps. You know, when the wind blows, I don't have to worry about my natural hairline showing. So that's always a plus because it fits well. And again, I just love to use a comb to ensure that the part is flat and flush with my skin. And I use the wig grip as a way to secure the unit down. It's super soft. It doesn't get caught in the gel like the other stuff. It's the perfect material. And then I use a satin scarf on top of that and allow it to sit for about 15 minutes. And once I am done, I remove it and I just wanted a little bit more volume, so I'm creating small sections and using the Eva NYC Dry Shampoo. I'm gonna spray that first as well as the free spray and use my fingers to hold the hair up and kind of fold it over in the opposite direction because that's how you build and kind of boost the volume. And you want it to stay you know, flowing in the opposite direction because again, we're building volume. Let it set for about a minute before you flip it back over. And I just repeat this on both sides. And I love how this unit looks. I got a lot of compliments. I'm very excited about it. I highly recommend this unit. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely check out my wig playlist. Subscribe, join the family, it's lit. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know about the color. Are you feeling it? And I will definitely see you in the next one.